Hello everybody. So today we're doing something a little different. Uh, I'm not in the garage or I'm outside. I'm down in the gun room today. Uh, it's windy as heck out there. So it's like minus with this, I don't know, some silly wind chill warning. But anyways, I love Canada. Canadian weather. So today we, as you can see by the description and the picture, we, or I ordered a uh, couple flashlights, so inexpensive. <clears throat> I was actually trying to get the, I'm not going to get too big of a rant on this one. But I originally went with the uh, NC Star um, Quick Detach um, flashlights. They're inexpensive. Um, I didn't, for what I'm going to be using it for, hopefully I don't have to ever have to use them for what I intend to use them for. But, <clears throat> um, well, I'll explain it in a second. Um, but I didn't want to go with Olight, uh, even though they're a far better product, they're uh, absolutely more expensive. But again, for what I'm about to tell you, I'm going to use them for it overkill because basically, hopefully, they just sit and do nothing. Anyways, so um, let's see here. Specs on this one. Where is it? It's in the back. There it is. So the specs are there. So we want to see. It's actually not bad. These are. Um, this one's an upgrade because the company, which I'm not going to get into it, uh, ordered it for a couple weeks. The order just sat there, didn't change, and then uh, tried calling them, no answer, email, no answer. Um, went through PayPal to uh, dispute the uh, purchase, and then I finally got a phone call from the manufacturer, from the store. Um, and they're like, well, we don't have the product in stock. <clears throat> I don't know why it was on their website. So the gentleman that I spoke to, was nice enough to kind of say, well, I have these, a bit more money, but I'll give them to you for the same price. So anyways, um, product. It comes pretty packed. Um, packed is not bad, actually. Unfortunately, it's from China. Let's check everything from China nowadays. Um, yeah, some foam. It comes with the lens covers, which I'm not going to use. Okay. Flashlight comes here, and your battery is in there. I don't know if you see anything out of the blue here, because it's a bit of a... Messy gun room. Um, so yeah. There it is there. So the reason I'm using these is I wanted something inexpensive so I can attach to a shotgun so that if something happens at night, we have animals outside and heaven forbid we have a coyote or something decides that, you know what, I want one of your animals. <clears throat> At least I have a better chance of seeing the animal attacking or getting too close or whatever. And not trying to hold a flashlight and a shotgun at the same time with, you know, two hands and, you know, fluttering around all over the place. So anyways, <clears throat> um, it's not bad. One light. I shall one click on, off, strobe. You do click it on and then just tap the light switch it'll switch it back and forth so it's not bad um i took it out last night when i took the dogs out it's actually pretty bright compared to my pocket flashlight that i use with the when the dogs are be bopping around at nighttime so it's much brighter more intense so it's actually not bad um so <coughs> And yes, don't worry, my shotgun is unloaded. It's already been cleared. So, a little safety sally kind of get all weird on me here. So, it is a quick detach. So you pull these down. I'm doing this one handed here. So. so, it slides on. And then you just pull down on the dead and locks it. It is loose. Again, it, you know, it's a cheapy flashlight. So, I wouldn't, you know, wasn't expecting anything perfect. But at least this way. Um, just take it off, slide it right off. <clears throat> I'm just got a spring activator here. Doing that again, one hand. <laughs> and just push this down. You can do it on either side. You can just do the one or two by two of them there. So, again, this is just for predator protection. This is not for bump in the night for a person, because here in Canada, we are not allowed to defend ourselves. All we can do is yell at them, call 911, and you know how it is. But I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but anyways, 
Yeah, gotta love our Canadian government. Don't even let us defend ourselves. But anyways, um, where was I? Yeah, so this is more for a handgun. But again, we I'm not, I can't walk around with a handgun on the property or nothing like that. It's a restricted firearm has to be in the safe and go to our gun range, and that's it. So non-restricted, which is my shotgun and my Ruger 1022. Um, I have two of these, so one's going to go on a shotgun, one's going to go on a Pennington, a Pennington rail. I can't say that, sorry. <clears throat> and on my 1022, I have to find a rail and attach it on the side there. Because I haven't any new stock for it. But overall, anyways, I'm blabbering on. I'm not really doing much here. I'm not doing much of a yakking here. So, it stays on like that. And then, boom. Double, so my bad. And this my uh, my load all my shotgun shells. And then I got uh, a whole whack of empties I still got to do, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And for those that are wondering, off topic here, that's what I put in my uh, homemade shotgun shells. BBs. Or I use these ones. Um, so besides that, yeah, um, I don't know, lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, so we have, they like said, I ordered, got two of these in the mail. Um, put the specs back on the side here in case anyone wants to quickly look at it real quick here. And it is a um, CR2 battery. That doesn't really take much. Hopefully, never have to use it. But we do have quite. A, we have a lot of uh, fields around us. We have um, government property. Uh, what is that? Uh, you know, protected property there. So the uh, coyotes love chasing the uh, deer's and whatever else around. I haven't really seen much on, on the actual property, thank goodness. But there are a couple of coyotes that uh, have a little pathway that they like to tend to use. So besides that, anyways, I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're looking for an inexpensive uh, LED quick detach flashlight for a shotgun or whatever, um, I'd probably suggest one of these. Again, it is a little loose, so it's not, you know, again, you get what you pay for, right? It's not perfect, but it's going to work for what I need it, and hopefully I'll never have to run outside in the middle of the night chasing off some coyotes. So besides that, uh, be safe and have an excellent day.